Okay, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate some other behaviors by EIGRP. We're going to show how EIGRP auto summarizes by default and um, one of the things that it does when it does that is it installs summary routes to null zero interfaces which can cause problems on the network. So we're going to demonstrate um, EIGRP's auto summarization and then we're going to turn that off and show you the difference. Also, we're going to show you how EIGRP or EIGRP does equal cost load balancing by default. It's capable of doing um, unequal cost load balancing um, if it's configured, but by default it does equal cost load balancing. I'm going to talk about that. We're going to look at um, successor and feasible successors. We're also going to talk about demonstrate um, some bandwidth based metrics by changing the bandwidth on the links. And in order to do this, we need to expand the network even further. So I grabbed out another generic router. This is the first generic router right here that I dragged out here. And then these are two generic switches that I dragged out right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these up. And the network that we're going to use between these two, let's just do that really quickly. We'll grab a crossover cable since it's router to router. We'll use the first available Ethernet here and then the first available Ethernet here. Okay, And what we're going to do is this network in between these two routers, we're going to use network 12, which I created. You can see I created some more networks here. We're going to use network 12, which is the 192.168.8.0 network slash 24. I'm going to configure those interfaces off screen, pause the video, and then come back. Okay, I uh, configured IP addresses on these two interfaces here. This one over here is 192.168.8.1, and this one right here is 192.168.8.2. And so now let's hook up the other router's interfaces to these two switches. So for this one, router to switch, I'm going to use a straight through cable since it's router to switch, and I'll use the next available Ethernet, fast Ethernet 1 slash 0, and I'll go into the first available here, right? And now for this one though, for this connection, there's another Ethernet interface available, but it's actually a fiber optic interface. So for this, I'm going to need to grab a fiber optic cable, this orange one, and I'll hook that into fast Ethernet 4.0. See how the, the, the graphic is different? That's for fiber optic. And I'll go over here and put that into the fiber optic one here, which is 4.1. So now I have those hooked up, and what I want to do is I've got this network 8, 9, 10, and 11, and I've created this so we can demonstrate the auto summarization problems that can happen with EIGRP. So I created um, four subnets. I created a 7.0 subnet slash 26, and then a 7.64 subnet slash 26, 7.128, and 7.192. So each one of these subnets has 64 hosts, 62 usable. The network numbers are 0, 64, 128, and 192. And what I'm going to do is I'll use the 128 subnet and the 192 subnet for these two networks. I'll put 128 over here and, one tw and uh, 192 over here. So this interface will be the first available host, which will be 129, and this one will be 193 and I'll configure those interfaces right now when I pause the video and then I'll come back really quickly and they should be up. Okay, so I configured these interfaces. This is 129, this is 193. I wrote here the starting address for this 7 network was 7.0 slash 24 and I subnet it into four subnets. So we're all set here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to, to options preferences and I'm actually going to turn off the device labels to make a little more space here on the graphic board and I'm going to drag network 6 up here so we know that this is network 5, this is network 4, this is network 6 and then I can put the other networks here. This one over here was network 2, this one here is network 3 and then if we just copy this copy and paste. This one right here is now network 11 and it has 